Nemi is saying, my Isfahani friend got arrested during protests. Luckily, he was freed after 20 hours. What can I do if any of my Iranian friends gets jailed or incarcerated? I live abroad. So for those who are not aware, um, there have been large scale protests happening in many provinces in Iran, but lately there's been a very big focus on the protest happening in Isfahan um, that has to do with water shortages and mismanagement and droughts caused by government ineptitude and corruption, basically. Um, so that's kind of the larger well, context. We have to tell people Isfahan is a city it's one of the major cities of Iran. So Isfahan, when he says Isfahani friend, he's talking about a, uh, he or she is talking about like a, specific, a, a friend in Iran from a city of Isfahan. Um, yeah, so, okay. So first, I, honestly, there's little you can do beyond sharing that story, right? Um, again, a lot of people underestimate how much influence you have over bringing attention to the story. People think like it's helpless, you can't do anything. But the more people pay attention to a story, like let me just give you an example, right? Um, Saudi Arabia, right, has a lot of human rights violations and people didn't care that much, right? Um, people didn't pay attention to it. But the Khashoggi story, because a lot of people paid attention to it, because people, that story, you know, grabbed people's attention and people started paying, sharing it, it fascinated people, people, it became, it highlighted Saudi Arabia's human rights violations more than anything else, right? What was the difference between all the other, like, that's not like unique, like Khashoggi was just one guy, right? And the fact that he was like a US resident and also a journalist for US media, made it so that a lot of people paid more attention. Also, the way he was killed was fascinating for people, right? But it's not like Saudi Arabia wasn't killing people, dissidents left and right all the time. In fact, under Mohammed bin Salman, it had increased, right? Um, but look, when a story gets attention, then it costs Saudi Arabia more than they ever imagined this story would ever cost them. They're still to this day paying billions billions and billions of dollars just for that just for that thing and the only difference was people paying attention to it so again like don't tell people like oh you're just a keyboard warrior you're just paying attention like you're just typing this tweeting this hashtag warriors it's not going to have an impact we have endless numbers of examples that shows the difference between this being a cost for dictatorial regimes like Saudi Arabia or the Islamic Republic of Iran the only difference is whether you decide to care about this or not. And a simple retweet, a simple like, a simple share, that's what, if it adds up together, makes a difference between these regimes deciding, like, they care. They care about the international image because it gives them political capital. They care about the backlash being, but they know that in these other countries, people's opinions has an effect on the politics in those countries. That's why, like, if they didn't care, they wouldn't be spending millions of dollars themselves trying to wh whitewash their human rights record around the world. Like, if it didn't matter, they wouldn't be spending money on ads, trying to get celebrities, for example, to go to Saudi Arabia or Iran, trying to get all these lobbyists or Iran, trying to get assassin assassins to get, like, uh, kill somebody like Masih Alinejad. Like, if their international image didn't matter, they wouldn't be working so hard in trying to change that, Right. So, yeah, the best you could do is just to pay attention to what's happening and share the stories when they matter. I mean, they all matter, but the, the more, the more, the bigger the human rights violations, the more important it is that you share it and you pay attention to it. Don't think about like, you know, in the, in, in the terms of like, how big is my audience? Well, I don't have a, you know, it's more, it's, it's more than just your audience. Even if you have a small audience, the simple liking or sharing triggers algorithms on social medias that this is something that needs to be shared with more people. So if you go on a Facebook post or on a YouTube uh, video and you click the share button, you're telling, you're feeding the algorithm and the algorithm is like, oh, I need to show this to more people. So even if you're, the size of your audience is small, and, and again, this is something that doesn't cost you anything. 
like people are like oh what can i do where do I? like i don't have any money i don't i can't donate just share the story <laughs> it just doesn't cost you anything right again this and even if you think you're you're you have um take your contribution has been small to this to to a bigger movement the, at least you know that you did you t you did the part you did the thing you know what i mean like it doesn't matter how small it was it matters that you did the thing you were part of the solution you weren't one of those people that just stood back and just be like oh i guess this is how the world is and we can't do anything about it you you, you were weren't part of a solution a small part of the solution but part of the solution yeah i completely Anyways. agree like if especially if you live abroad your ability to influence others is a lot larger than other people inside of iran necessarily and oftentimes you'd probably be surprised about how much other people aren't aware of these issues. And so just telling the people around you about what people go through back home can make a big difference, especially because it's a personal connection. And now that they know someone who can personally attest to what's going on back from where you're from, they feel more of a personal imperative to start paying attention to these stories when they come up in the news again. Um, so the, the power of your personal human connection is also very important because we're emotional human beings. We can look at the statistics of numbers of way greater than just an individual, but knowing an individual and having that it, it tie into your own experience in that way is a much larger motivator um, just because of how our brains work. So utilize that. You, you as Iranian living outside of Iran have a very unique opportunity in that way um yeah that's what was my thoughts on that hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook and let me tell you it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below